Hey guys, welcome. First drive of the EX30. Uh, this is my second fully EV vehicle from offering from Volvo that I'm trying out. Obviously the XC40. Now we've got the EX30. Um, from the nomenclature, obviously it's a smaller car than the uh, XC40, being a 30. And I do feel uh, it is definitely tight. And the first thing you feel is what I call the use of material in the car definitely a downgrade but i guess it's more for sustainability and stuff but let's talk about driving in the car now uh, <laughs> so you've got your typical steering obviously it's a car come the steering it has your, your, your stock for your signal and a stock for your um pdrn prindle is there but what's interesting though is that you have no meter no centimeter uh, up in front what that means is when you put a signal left or right um, I have to look where is my signal and it's actually in the center console here like a Tesla and what I wish was there was a bigger indicator for the signal it's a small little icon there not prominent enough for me if you ask me because um, I guess old school that way maybe it was red instead of green uh, better and maybe bigger um, and then but something interesting that I, I noticed was that the uh, sound that comes from the signal if I do a right, the sound comes from the right. If I do left, the sound does come from the left. So you can probably audibly hear. So it's more of a change in mindset on how you drive the car because over time we are used to seeing uh, whether am I doing a signal left or right based on uh, visual cue. But I guess our, um, Volvo is thinking one step further that in the future, you can hear the signal is on because the audible sound is different. Then you got to hear that the fact it's left or right and then you kind of figure your way out so it's it's a different way of doing things i get it uh but definitely to get used to the whole concept of driving it in this particular fashion uh one brake driving as you can see one pedal a drive uh, one pedal to accelerate and the same pedal helps you to uh, decelerate but there is a brake button so not too bad um and uh what else oh they've lost the b button the b for the braking dynamic button is no longer there so it's just uh, P R N and D so yeah. entering so far we're gonna go to KL base and do a slalom test um, let's see how it performs should be good <laughs> 